one mentions De Ruta, people immediately think of Maiolica. Over the centuries, this Umbrian town has become known worldwide as the center for high-quality, handcrafted Italian Maiolica. Since 1296, De Ruta, called Terra Vasaria, which means land where vases are made, has been the birthplace of Italian ceramics and ceramic schools. Here in the heart of Italy is the oldest privately owned Maiolica factory in the world, Grazia. Grazia's history dates back to Bologna in the late 1400s, which was the start of a period of great artistic creativity. In the early 1500s, Giuseppe Grazia moved the Grazia factory to the current old town of Deruta, and with this, founded a succession of master painters whose creations are highly sought after. Today, these masterpieces can be seen in museum collections all over the world. In 1921, Ubaldo Grazia moved the factory from within the walls of the old city to its present location. Local legend describes kilns built into the city walls that encircle the town of Deruta. Restorations since 2000 have proven these local legends are true. Now, as you enter the old city of Deruta from its original main gate, the Porta di San Michele Arcangelo, you are able to view the ancient Grazia kiln, restored in the 1700s, operational until 1920, and on exhibition since 2000. As it was then, it is today, with Grazia continuing to produce the highest quality handcrafted ceramic tableware and specialty products satisfying the most sophisticated and knowledgeable customers. As you leave Via Tiburina and drive through the pillars and gates of the Grazia factory, you begin to appreciate that you are about to step back in time. The factory's display rooms, workspaces, and labyrinth corridors, filled with soft half-light, prove that this is a place where the past still lives in the present. Much of what you are seeing in these rooms has not changed since Ubaldo Grazia moved here in 1921 and the actual craft itself has not changed in centuries. It is difficult to believe, but the basis of this art is clay and artistic skill. Here, Maiolica art has deep roots and is very much alive. The Grazia factory houses a museum of Grazia ceramics. All of the pieces on display were made at Grazia by Grazia ancestors or master painters who collaborated with the Grazia factory over the centuries. Over the years, Grazia created studio space for well-known international artists to create contemporary dinnerware designs. This same space has recently been made available to private individuals who want to learn how to create Maiolica. Grazia's master throwers and painters instruct, in English, classes for the novelist to the skilled student. After touring the production facility, most visitors come away with a greater appreciation of the skill required to produce superior Maiolica products. From the clay preparation, to throwing, to painting, everything is done by hand, following time-honored traditions. This is why the Grazia Factory's Maiolica has been singled out as an excellent example of high-quality Italian handicrafts. What makes Grazia different from all the other Maiolica shops in Deruta? The secret is that the entire production process takes place in the factory. As a piece of ceramic is made, it passes through each room of the factory, changing rough clay into an object of art. Our tools and techniques are the same ones used over the centuries, and the tradition continues passing skills from one generation to the next. The main character in the story of Maiolica starts with red clay, dug from the Deruta quarries. Our story begins with its delivery to the clay storage shed behind the factory. The clay is ground and mixed with water in a large vat and then filtered to remove impurities. The filtered clay is stored for three months to cure before it can be thrown. Now that the rough clay has been cured, it is time for it to take shape. This is probably the most fascinating part of the process, watching a lump of clay transform into an object. Clay can be molded, thrown, or slip cast. Molding is when a slab of clay is placed on top of a mold. It is then placed on top of the kick wheel, which is foot operated. 
Then a wet sponge firmly but gently presses the clay into the mold, giving it shape. Throwing is used to create vases, and the form the clay will take lies solely in the thrower's hands. A ball of clay is placed on the disc of the electric wheel, and the thrower pulls and works the clay with his wet hands until the desired shape is achieved. Slip casting is used to make complicated shapes, like twisted candlesticks. In this process, clay scraps from molding and throwing are mixed with water and then poured into a sections mold. The mold is opened when the clay hardens and shrinks and separates from the sides of the mold. Although the item has taken shape, there is still much more work, time, and care required for it to become a piece of Grazia Maiolica. After the item has taken shape, it sits in a drying room until it is in the leather hardness stage. Additional trims, handles, spouts, and decorative relief is attached at this time. The item remains in the open air until it is completely dried and ready for its first firing. For the first firing, the item is placed in a gas kiln for 24 hours and baked at 1,020 degrees centigrade. After the first firing, the object is called bisque because of its red color. The bisque storage room has a special charm where the unadorned shapes allow your imagination to run with possibilities. This leads to the glazing room. The bisque is dripped in a glaze, making it waterproof and ready to accept paint. Painting is a time-consuming phase and designs are maintained for accuracy to ensure that additional or replacement pieces match existing sets. Painters use the pounce technique to stencil a pattern on the glazed ceramic. The stencil is a transparent sheet pierced with a needle along the design. It is placed on top of the object and cotton balls coated with carbon dust are rubbed over the holes, leaving an outline of the design. The artist then connects the dots, making a fine outline in preparation for painting. Painting is a slow, painstaking process. Colors are selected for historical accuracy, and each detail and brush stroke is mandated by the design. Grazia artisans are known for giving life and vibrancy to each piece. After the piece has been painted, it is examined, and if necessary, retouched to be certain that the design accuracy and color is maintained. Once painted, the ceramics are sprayed with liquid glass, which is a mixture of silicates and water. The items are now ready for the second and final firing at 920 degrees centigrade. Our quality control person carefully examines each piece and determines if it is up to Grazia standards and can be shipped to clients all over the world. Months have passed from the clay delivery to the moment it has passed through the quality control and deemed ready for shipment. You have witnessed the perfect combination of passion and art technique. Each piece has its own beauty and will give its owner and future generations years of enjoyment. In this way, the Grazia family's passion for high quality handcrafted maiolica lives on.